Here at Earth Unplugged, we have filmed the fastest animal on the planet, which is the Peregrine Falcon, and can reach speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour in full stoop. But is it the fastest living thing on the planet? Well, it depends what we mean by fast. Bigger things tend to cover greater distances and shorter time frames. But if we're talking acceleration, then this is quite a good contender. And not the poo, we're talking about a fungus. So this rather nasty looking specimen that we have here is exactly what we're looking for and it's a genus of poo loving fungi called Pelobolus and their reproductive cycle involves being eaten by herbivores, digested and then pooped out where they will then grow on top of the poo. Yeah and you sort of got it right there, I mean it's grass eating herbivores so obviously when they're on the poo they need to get out of the so called zone of repugnance. Very nice. <laughs> and to land on grass and then the cycle will begin again. So all these spores at the end of the fungus need some serious firepower to get away because they're so tiny and light. So hopefully we're going to try and catch that and they should have some incredible accelerations for us. While the cultures are growing, let's go shoot some other stuff as a comparison. I'm super excited because we have come to a gun range to try and demonstrate just how fast these Palobolus fungi spores really are. This is going to be our first contender. It's a replica Remington rolling block. It's chambered in 45 calibre and it's got a barrel length of about 34 inches. And this is what's coming out at the end of it. It's about 530 grains or about 34.3 grams. So using that information, we can work out the acceleration and momentum of the bullet and then compare that to the Palobolus. So due to various gun safety laws here in the UK, uh, it's not going to be us that are going to be firing. Sadly. We've got a firearm specialist. For the best. For the best, I think definitely. I think we're ready to go here. <laughs> I can't believe I jumped. Next up, 12 ball, over and under, shotgun. Very gorgeous, and this is what is coming out of it. All these tiny little bits of shot, and even though they're very small, some shot can be up to 100,000 times heavier than a Palobolus spore. Wow. So they've got much more momentum. Let's get cracking on this one, I think. So the guns are good fun, but we're now back in the studio with the main star attraction, Mr. Pelobolus. You can definitely see that there's some on there now. Yeah, they're growing up and looking at fit to burst. So now we play the waiting game. I've been sat here for the last three hours waiting for fungies to discharge their spores. Um, so we're currently shooting almost 22,000 frames a second, which gives Sai just over one second to press the trigger. But in terms of the Pelobolus spore actually discharging, Apparently it reaches top speed in about two millionths of a second, so uh, we won't really even see it go. We'll just see this ball disappear. Hey! Hey! Nice one, Sai, that's awesome. You little beauty. So I mean, that's huge sort of bulbous end of the hypha, it's called, or the stalk. Basically, it's just filled with cell sap and cell juice, because it's um, built up through osmotic pressure, so it's sucking up water Building into up. that end. And then finally, it just goes. So in terms of their velocity, they're so small, in fact, the distances relative to their size are vast. So in fact, their top speed's not that impressive. Uh, they've been recorded going about 25 meters per second. But they reach that top speed in about two millionths of a second. So wow. in terms of the accelerations they're pulling, they've been recorded about 20,000 G. Yeah. And some fungal spores have been 180,000 G. That's insane. It's completely That's insane. insane, yeah. And the secret behind the success is a really high internal pressure 
in that sort of bulbous bit at the top of the hypha or stalk. And that's due to a huge osmotic pressures building up from loads of water coming to that cell sap that we've seen firing out behind the spore. Well, we've seen just how rapidly they accelerate with the high speed. We're shooting at huge frame rates, and even then it's such a quick action. So Definitely putting your cameras to the <laughs> yeah. test. If you guys can think of any other speed demons you'd like us to capture, let us know, and we may just get it. So don't forget to subscribe, just in case we do. And we'll see you next Thursday for another high-tech adventure. Today we're going faster than the speed of sound. And what better way to get there than by blowing stuff up? Is that front left, front right, back right, back left? So it's that circular rotary gallop we were talking about.